Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you happen to be new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get grids inside Ibis Paint X. There are really easy ways to get grids inside here that include a tool that I haven't found previously, so I'll be showing you how to do that today. With these grids, you can change how many squids are on the grid, and you can change the dimensions of them too. So let's get started. Firstly, you're going to want to go to Filter right here. Click on it and you will see that there's a bunch of filter options. I've covered this a bunch of times before in my previous videos, but there are new options out that include the grid ones. You'll see there's a bunch of different subsections down here, and you're going to want to go all the way over to Frame. You have Table Count and Table Size. Both of these work. These essentially make grids for you. You can change the amount of columns and the amount of rows. As you can see here, it always makes sure that everyone is the same size, which is really useful. You can have it anywhere from 100 to 0. So you can even use this as a sideways or upwards. You can also change the thickness of the lines that you have in here if you're using it for more of an artistic framing kind of thing instead of for grid drawing. You also have top and bottom margins, so it changes the distance between the top and the bottom for lines. It's the same with the left and right margin. Then you have horizontal space and vertical space. This separates them into less grids and more so strips of squares. And it's the same with the vertical space. You can also change the line color to anything you want. There can also be a fill color if you want there to be. As you can see right here, you can even change the opacity of it. But I personally won't be having one in here. Now back inside this menu, we're going to look at table size. And you will see right here that you cannot change the amount of graphs that you have in here. They will be preset for you, although you can change the width and height of them. So in the other grid section right here, as you can see, it is pretty much the same, although you can change the width and height in different ways as before. The rest of it works pretty much the same though with all the different margins, the horizontal and vertical space, and the line and fill color. With these they work just like normal layers, if you have a layer underneath them, then you are able to draw under it, as you can see right here. You can also fill those up to do a sort of pixel art if you really wanted, which I think would be really cool. It's important to note that with the size graph, it's going to have some parts that won't be the exact same size that will go off to the ends, as you can see with these ones. But with this one, they will not ever go off to the side, and it will always stay in the canvas and have every square be an equal size. So that is how you can get grids in here. You can use these for guiding drawings or just for special effects. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you found this helpful, and if you did, consider supporting. Bye!